Okay, Bobo Buddies, I have a featured seller video for you guys. This is basically where I go in and I feature someone's store. I share with you highlights or items that I think are awesome that you should be on the lookout for at thrift stores and garage sales. And this gal was the second to respond to my Facebook post asking for somebody that wanted to be featured. So let's get started. Hey, Bobo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. So these are items you can get at thrift stores, garage sales, places like that. So um, this was the second person that responded and she's been in my Facebook group for quite a while. So I am gonna share her bolos with you guys. So featured seller video, here we go. And I will show you her store first. Here is her store. I didn't pull up the screen share, did I? Okay. Good thing I checked. All right, here is her store. Um, it looks like it's Bargain Babe Co, like company maybe? Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you some of her solds here, but I will link her store down in the description of the video and you can check it out after this if you like. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. And the first item, um, the reason I picked this one is because I find these all the time and they are typically super cheap. This is a great bread and butter item. I typically give mine to my consignment girl because I don't know, I feel like every time I give them to her, they sell really quick and I'm like, I'm not gonna be as lucky. So I just send them to her. Um, so this is an item that I am familiar with. And they do range. Like I think um, I just found like a bunny rabbit, but you can find them at garage sales and throwers super easy. Uh, this one, let's see, it's called a fabric panel. Um, and it's basically you cut it out and you can make a doll. And I actually just listed a Halloween, I think it's like a witch doll, not, not a witch. It's like a girl dressed as a witch or something like that. I can't even remember now, but it's vintage. And it was made a long time ago with one of these panels. And I had a decent price on it, actually. It's pretty. So that's listed in my store. So I also pick up those. So this one, and here's another example. This is a Victorian baby doll. So um, we got this from a thrift store for 50 cents. And I think um, she only told me what she got the one for, but she also said um, she purchased a quilt kit on Marketplace. She said she went to look at a sewing machine and ended up buying $120 worth of high-end fabric. She says, you know, the fabric is long-tailed, but it's selling, so this may have been a part of that, or this may have been the fabric panel doll. I'm not sure which one that she got for 50 cents. So either way, you can typically get these dirt cheap at garage sales. And again, they're bread and butter, but they're a great um, item to resell. The next item I would have priced, I think I would have priced this higher. I think she undersold it. Number one, it's Disney. You blow it up, it's inflatable. Um, I have a video on inflatable items that are bolos. Definitely go check that out. It's a category video. It says that it's new. So you can see here, it's, I mean, it's Mickey Mouse Peak and Roller. And I could be totally wrong, but knowing me, I probably would have listed this for $50 just because it's Mickey Mouse and it's vintage and it's a blow up toy. I don't know. I could be way off. I didn't check comps or anything. I just have a tendency to price stuff high, see what happens, and I can always take an offer. But she got this at a thrift store for $1. And it looks like the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item are these lot of two vintage Dick and Jane books. Um, again, another great bread and butter item. I just thought these were super, super cute. I don't know if I would have picked these up. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I like when I find bolos that I'm like, I don't know if I would have grabbed that. So this one she got at a thrift store and it was two for two. So she paid a dollar each for them. Here's the inside. They're super, super cute. So they're Dick and Jane books. And she sold these for $20 with free shipping. So they probably ship media mail. So super cheap to ship. 
and really good return on our money. The next item, okay. So you guys, these are just little plush like teether toys, okay? They're tiny. Um, yeah. I, I mean, to me, this is a great bread and butter item. So um, let's see where she got it. She got this for 50 cents at the thrift store and she sold it for $17.24 with free shipping. So you guys know these are tiny. They're probably like five ounces or less. So probably ship for $3, $3.50, something like that. So really great return on our money. The next item is vintage full circle sheer organza. I don't, is it organza? Am I saying that right? Probably not. Anyway, it's a toddler dress and you see how she has it fanned out in a circle. Is that not beautiful? Again, I probably would have priced this higher, but that's just me. I probably would have sat on it forever and she sold it. She sold it for $32.99. Um, she got this at a thrift store for $2.99. I also have a bolo category video on toddler dresses. Definitely go check it out you will be amazed at what some of these um, circle dresses go for. And this is super cool. And maybe comps weren't as high because it's sheer. I honestly um, have no idea, but it's beautiful. So very, very cool. The next item, I just thought this was funny. Cheese head hat. So it's a hat <laughs> that looks like cheese and it's foam. And it says that it's an NFL football hat. And it says it's signed by James Jones and Josh Sitton. I don't know if those are like players or what, but I just thought this was fun. It's kind of like an off the wall, different, unique item. So I thought I would include it in the video. Uh, let's see where she got it. I don't see. Oh, somebody in her family gave it to her. <laughs> so pretty fun item. Sold it for $36 with free shipping on that one. The next item is this goof proof Latisse border quilt table runner. Okay. So this is the quilt kit that she was talking about that, um, she said she went to look at a sewing machine and then bought all the stuff. And she said she probably had about $5 in this and it sold $31 and four cents plus shipping. Okay, so P in the pod maternity dress. Uh, this one, I don't know if she put this one on here. I think she picked up, if I remember correctly, she did some retail arbitrage on some newer items. And this might have been one of those because it is a quantity of three. So P in the pod maternity dress. This is not vintage. It's new with tags. She has two available if you know anybody who is expecting that needs a nice dress definitely send them her way but super super pretty dress and pee in the pod so it sold for 34.49 plus shipping the next item are these nordic fair isle hand knit wool gloves they're nor nor norwegian <laughs> super cool vintage gloves you gotta love that um these came from a family member. So she got them free and she sold them for $41.40 with free shipping. The next she sold is twin field crest perfection per call per cal. I'm not sure how to say it. Floral bed sheet, four piece set, new old stock, and they are vintage. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that print. To me, it's kind of I'm not a big fan of those colors, but hey, somebody was, and that's all that counts. And she got these from an estate sale. She paid $5 for them and they sold for $40 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Sears Honey Lane white organdy sheer dress. <laughs> it's a women's small. And if you guys don't know, vintage typically runs on the small side. So I always, include measurements on all my clothing, but definitely, definitely include measurements for um, vintage items. And you can see she put C measurements probably for that very reason. Um, hmm. I don't see this one on the list. So I'm not sure if she got it or what she paid for it, but definitely a cool item. And there's the tag. 
The next item is this Select Works Edmund Burke three volume set. I believe these are books. And they came from a family member. So she got them free and they sold for $47 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item she sold, I love these types of bolos. The new old stock, just crew neck t-shirts, you guys. They're vintage. Somebody wore them a long time ago. They fell in love with them. They need them. They want them. They will pay for them. She got these at. Do, 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 do. I don't see this one. Sorry, guys. I can see where she got the, the men's briefs, which are coming soon. So maybe she got them at the same place, probably in a state sale. These sold for $50. $50 plus shipping. It's a three pack of JCPenney t-shirts, you guys. Yep, there it is. He's even got it tucked in to his underwear. Check it out. <laughs> well, all right. So here are the, um, I'm not really sure how to say this. Munsing wear, I think. Munsing wear. Men's briefs. So these are vintage men's underwear. I love selling vintage new old stock underwear. She got these in a state sale. She paid $4 for the set. And she sold them for $50 plus shipping. And again, you guys want to hear about other underwear and socks and weird things like that, undergarments that sell for big money? I've got a video on it. So go check that out. All right. This Pendleton sweater is new old stock. And this came from an estate sale. She paid $5 for it and it sold for $59 free shipping. So it's a nice looking sweater. I pick up Pendleton all the time. I'm trying to get away from clothes, but if I see Pendleton, I'm going to grab it. The next item is this vintage our plaid hooded wool jacket. And this one, you know what? I'm wondering if I didn't print off everything she sent me because I'm missing a few of these. Uh, what is this, Eddie Moore? I don't see this one either. I apologize, you guys. So I don't know what she paid for it or where she got it. But it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. So... That is the important part. Yep, I'm guessing just missed one of her, uh, or it's sitting over here beside me. Nope, I must not have printed it off. But look at this. This is my favorite vintage 70s JCPenney rose pink lace print prairie maxi dress. Prairie is a great, great descriptive word for this. And it looks like it sold for $90. And it says worn one time full of amazing details. So if she knew it was worn one time, this could have been one that came from a family member. Maybe. Don't know. So I apologize. I didn't. I must have uh, missed the other part that um, where she sent me what she paid for the items. So I apologize. But you at least got the bolos. You know what they look like. You know what to look for. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Again, a link will be down in the description of the video, her store. I hope to do more featured seller videos in the future. So definitely join my Facebook group and watch for a post where I ask if anyone wants to be featured. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That helps the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.